Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for October 2023. We're just going to uh, jump right in here. And we're going to see what comes up for you. Uh, in your general energies, you have this uh, King of Pentacles. So, you know, King of Pentacles really tells me that you're focusing on your stability or you're focusing on kind of like becoming more stable in your life. And yeah, I feel like you're kind of taking control here. In your foundation, you have the chariot. Um, so yeah, you're, you're, uh, you're trying to take control of your destiny is what this reading is saying to me. Or you're trying to... Uh, you know, it's like you're trying to, I, I don't know that you're trying to control it necessarily. I feel like you're just trying to step into it. Maybe that's a better way um, to put kind of like the energy that I'm feeling here. Um, because the two of wands, it's like you see, you see that you have these opportunities. You know, he has a whole world in his hands on the two of wands. And it's like he is standing at the top of this castle and he's looking out into the world in front of him. And he thinks that he's accomplished everything he can, but he's got the whole world in his hands. It's like there's so much more you can do. So let, let's dig. I'm going to stop babbling and we're going to dig into this. And you have this card that says life will be a roller coaster. Enjoy the ride and stop trying to control it. Yeah, I have a feeling that this reading is a roller coaster in a good way. Um, you know, and again, so I, it's funny that I corrected myself on the whole control world, word. And I said, maybe you're not trying to control it. But, you know, again, I, I kind of feel like you need to enjoy the ride here and don't try to control the outcome of situations. And you have this card that says three months from now, something will be expressed. What's hidden will come to light. So there you go. Something coming in in the next three months. And you have this underworld card. It says find unconventional ways to explore new sources of income as the world evolves so can you, uh, your means of earning money. Yes, I definitely see money changing here just in general. Again, in your general energies, you have the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is a card of convention, as I always say. And, <laughs> you know, my problem with the King of Pentacles right now is that he just does things the same and he has been doing things the same for too long in his life. So don't be afraid to like upgrade your skills or don't, you know, don't be afraid for to look for new ways of doing things that you want to do in your life. Um, I really feel it'll be very helpful for you and it will probably lead to a lot more success in the future. Like if you just, um, you know, again, if you come up with new ways of doing things like in work and business and uh, pretty much everything else. But I feel like saying you're due for an upgrade, those are the words that I'm getting here. And um, you have the Queen of Wands and Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive. Um, doing something without needing to know the answers. Again, she is kind of my card of learning as you go. So, you know, with that underworld card, it's like you're doing something unconventional in your life or you're thinking about taking an unconventional path to towards success. I do feel this is financial. Uh, there is love showing up here and we're, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But again, I feel for the most part, you're, this is having to do with your foundation, like how um, how secure you feel in the world. I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. And, you know, the really funny thing is, is it's like you're ascending. It's kind of funny as well that, um, you know, you have that two wands. He's standing in this castle, but it's almost like I see you. It's like you're not a king. <laughs> you know, that guy, sorry, my alarm is going off for no freaking reason. But, um, you know, it's like he is not a king. He's just a dude, right, S standing up here. And I feel like you are trying to become the king. It's like you're trying to reach the top of something. So it's like you're only at a step here, if that makes sense, with the two wands. That's really what I'm feeling. To get to the next step, I feel like you have to follow the sun. She has that sunflower there, and the sunflower points towards the sun. I always say with the queen of wands, she has to move in a direction, but she's just trusting her, like her instinct. She is just trusting her feelings of moving towards something that excites her, that brings her joy maybe and happiness. She also needs to not care what people think. So, you know, she needs to do things regardless of, you know, what people say or what people tell her to do. As a matter of fact, I would just keep your ideas to yourself here. Capricorn with this card. I wouldn't even share your ideas. Um, you know, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. I kind of feel both in this situation. Um, you know, I think it will hurt you if you don't listen to your inner voice towards that inner guidance of what brings you joy and happiness. And also if you listen to other people, I think it will help you if you just get comfortable, like not needing to know the answers. If you're starting a project, just get started, learn as you go. If you're trying to get a new job, just go, you know, I always, the funny thing is, not, again, not to babble on about this, but I always look at her as like the type of person who will apply for a job that maybe she's not qualified for, but she will figure it out. She will, you know, where there's a will, there's a way, chariot. <laughs> you know, it, it's like she might not be 100% qualified, but she'll kind of figure it out. So don't be afraid to, to like go for the goal. Don't be afraid to go for something that might be like a little bit more challenging or out of reach. Uh, in the area of your thoughts, you have the five of cups here. Some of you could be grieving the loss of something. You know, you have these three cups right here. Uh, but, you know, again, I always say the solution 
is to turn around and see these two cups, which leads to this bridge and this castle over here. So you could be grieving the loss of something that you no longer enjoy. And, you know, this could be a person, place, or a thing, doesn't matter. And I feel you need to like turn around and see the two cups that exist behind you because you actually get a lot more than the two cups. You know, this card encourages you to be grateful for the things that you do have as well. The other weird thing that I'm getting here is that if you're um, looking for love, I, I do feel like there could be love coming in over like the next few months here, probably the next three months because you have that card that says three months from now, right? I don't trust psychic timing, by the way. The universe doesn't wear a watch. Things happen when they're going to happen, right? Um, but it's almost like I feel that there could be a person coming in. It's like at first you see them as two cups, <laughs> which I don't think is a bad thing. But I think they're like much, much more <laughs> than just two cups. And this person could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo, or a Sagittarius with a Wheel of Fortune here. It could be a Cancer as well. Um, but, you know, take it how it resonates, right? It could be any sign. Um, you know, I think that they probably have Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo somewhere big in their chart uh, with the Wheel of Fortune showing up here. Um, but what I would say is that I feel like the, this is something where it's like maybe you don't fall in love at first sight. You know, maybe it's like you're interested in the person, but it's just not love, right? And, um, you know, again, it's funny because, you know, I, I um, like a while ago, I saw this study that proved that people who's, who like stay married didn't fall in love at first sight. <laughs> you know, it's like the whole love at first sight thing is uh, BS, right? So um, maybe it's a good thing that this develops over time because it's like a much deeper, you know, form of a connection. That's kind of what I'm getting here. It's like, again, I think you'll be attracted to this person, everything like that, but maybe it's just not, you know, the tingles. And as I always say, you know, sometimes I think, you know, if we get the butterflies with a person, maybe it's a bad thing. Maybe it just means you have the shits, right? With a person. So it's like, you know, you get the butterflies and maybe that's your body saying this person, you know, gives me the runs, right? Meaning I have to run to the bathroom because of this person. So again, trust your, trust your body, trust your instincts, right? Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the chariot. The chariot, of course, is a victory. Uh, I do feel like there's some sort of victory coming in for you here. Kind of feels like, you know, you are really taking control of your life because you go chariot, wheel of fortune to that two of wands in the area of your future feelings. But, you know, the thing I will tell you is uh, don't get stuck in a comfort zone. I feel that, you know, if we, if we get to like the end of the year here and you haven't at least tried something new in your life, I feel like you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> so don't disappoint yourself. Uh, I would like take control of the chariot. The chariot is leaving the city behind and behind. He's trying to set himself apart. He is trying to be different. He is trying to, um, you know, go find a place where he can stand out. Maybe he can't stand out where he is in the city because there's too many people there. So he's like trying to find a place where he can be the king, maybe. And again, I really feel that's what this reading is saying. It's like you're trying to become the king or something like that. Uh, you have the Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords says, do not rush anything. So, you know, make sure to take your time. And this is showing up in your past position anyway. So, you know, it, the past position represents what you are moving past. And I feel like you are moving past making hasty decisions. I feel like you are moving past this energy of kind of like rushing. And again, you're taking more control of your destiny. In your near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune. So again, I feel like your fortunes are turning in your favor. Uh, I would take control of it. And again, I would avoid convention. You know, the reading's pretty simple. We go uh, Five of Cups to the Wheel of Fortune down to the Eight of Swords here in the next few months. And the Eight of Swords, the problem with the Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles in a reading is that it just represents doing the same thing over and over and over again. <laughs> so don't repeat something with the Wheel of Fortune. That could be a relationship. Um, but it could also say that you know, if you're doing the same thing day in, day out, and you're expecting a different result, um, but you haven't changed anything, then obviously you need to change something. You know, it's kind of like they say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Um, you know, so again, I would try to like do, you know, add uh, something new into your daily routine or, um, you know, whatever you're trying to improve in your life, I would try something new. The Wheel of Fortune is about taking control, you know. Uh, the way that we take control with the Wheel of Fortune is pretty simple. When bad things come our way or like challenges, we we don't run away from them. We face them and we uh, you know control that we do whatever we can with the challenges right away. We don't hide them and turn them into something bigger. When good things happen, we take those good things and we multiply them. We we double down on the good stuff. So you know make sure you're taking control with that card. Uh, over the next few months, you have the Eight of Swords. So Eight of Swords is like feeling stuck. I, I just feel like the results are a little bit slow here, and maybe that's the problem. 
you could be doing a lot of experimentation as well. And sometimes when we're like experimenting, we can feel a little stuck because we're it's like we're trying, you know, let's say you're trying to improve your business, you're experimenting, trying new things, but it's like the steps, maybe it seems like you're not moving forward as quickly as you would like. You even end with the four of cups here. And again, the four of cups is kind of like, you know, disappointments as well. <laughs> so, um, you know, we're gonna have to see what comes up. I have a feeling that this is just a growth period for you where it's like you're trying new things, you're seeing what works, what doesn't in all areas of your life. Uh, in the area of your closest relationships, you have the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups is your emotions overflowing, being very happy. So again, you could be getting a lot of support from the people around you. I do also feel that there is definitely uh, the opportunity for love to come into your life. Could be a fire sign, could be a fiery person just in general here with that Queen of Wands. It's kind of interesting. I see you as a King of Pentacles. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Um, you know, I just, I just see you as the King of Pentacles here where it's like you're trying you're like trying to become the king of pentacles, stable, secure. Um, you know, he also has very specific skills as well. He's like really good at what he does. And so I feel a lot of you could just be trying to perfect a skill. It's almost like the person coming in for you is a queen of wands, very fiery, very passionate. Um, they could be like very free spirited as well. So, you know, you could be attracting a person like that here, but definitely looks good for love for sure. Uh, in the area of your future feelings, you have the two of wands. Again, I feel like you do feel like you have the whole world in your hands. I feel like you feel in, more in control. I do feel like you feel like you have options, like you have opportunities to uh, grow and to become the king. But again, he's not the king. <laughs> he's standing at the top of this castle, but again, he's not like dressed like a king, right? So I feel like you're trying to get to the next level. So this reading is really saying to me that you're trying to ascend. You're trying to... Um, you know, take your business to the next level. Uh, maybe you're trying to take a relationship from, you know, a relationship to marriage or you're trying to get into a relationship. It's like you're trying to go from one thing to the other is, it, you know, like I said, very simple reading. I think you're just trying to go from one thing to the other. Like I said, you have the four cups. Four cups can be disappointment. See, this is the other thing as well, though. The four cups to me is like he has manifested those cups in front of him. And, you know, he it's, it's almost as if he's trying to manifest, like if he's trying to manifest a cake, for example, he has manifested the flour, the sugar, the eggs, but he just needs to mix it all together. He needs to put all those things together. So it's almost like you have all the pieces of the puzzle to greatly improve your life at this time, um, but you just need to like mix it all together and put it into the oven, you know? So let's see where this is going for you, Capricorn, and uh, what, what, what the heck is this reading talking about, right? With the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, you have the emperor. <laughs> like I said, I feel this whole entire reading, you're just trying to boss up or get into uh, a boss position. Uh, there is an element of control in this reading. I don't think it's like bad. It's not like bad control. It's good control. You're trying to take control of your destiny. I feel like you're trying to, um, you know, not live life just like all over the place, flailing around. I feel like you want more. It's like you want to provide your own guidance for your own life. And you also want to, it's almost like you want to be able to, you know, set a goal and accomplish it. You don't want just things just randomly happening. And, you know, I feel in the past, you have this Nine of Swords, which says that maybe you have felt out of control for a very long time. Like you, it's almost like you feel like you can't make your own decisions, you know, or, you know, it's like you feel like, you, it's almost like you feel like you're forced on a path, right? Where, that, where you don't get to choose what, what comes in, what goes out and like all this other stuff. You know, it's kind of very weird. <laughs> but again, I feel like you're taking more control. Maybe you feel like you're being given the choice choice now, right? With the Five of Cups, you have the Knight of Pentacles. There is something about needing to get moving here. Knight of Pentacles is the only knight in the tarot that is not making any moves. He's the only one that isn't moving. So this kind of says you you are more than ready, more than prepared to make a move towards something new. And so I kind of feel like you just have to make a move. I feel like you have to kind of like get going towards something here. Uh, with the chariot here, you have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a victory or a success coming in for you. You have two aces as well, which is very good. Uh, two aces is a definite new beginning. Uh, the chariot and the Ace of Swords is a victory. So I feel like there is a big victory coming in for you here and probably a very passionate new beginning. Um, the Ace of Swords can represent kind of like cutting something out of your life. So on the chariot, again, he's leaving that city behind him behind. It's almost like you are leaving certain things behind, cutting things out so that you can have a victory. So, the, and you know, funny enough, there is a crown normally at the top of the Ace of Swords. So I really do feel this reading is very simple. It's just like saying, you're trying to get some sort of crown in your life. 
With the Knight of Swords, you have the Ten of Wands. You're probably cutting some burdens out here as well. Like anything that has been a heavy burden or anything that has caused too many problems in your life. This could be people, places, or things, or a job, whatever. Um, you know, it's like you're trying, I think you are removing those things from your life so that you can be uh, more successful, so that things can be, you know, I wouldn't say easier. I don't think life is ever easy, but just more, um, you know, kind of just more specific. With the Wheel of Fortune, you have the High Priestess here. Definitely time to trust your intuition. She kind of represents unlimited options. You know, there, she has no roof over her head. And I always say the Queen, uh, sorry, the Emperor, or the, um, I'm going to, I'm going to list them all before I get it right. The High Priestess is a card where, um, you know, the sky's the limit. There are no limits to what she can accomplish. And she is a card of opportunity, believe it or not. So you have two aces here, which would be, uh, opportunities coming into your life. So, you know, if there's anything, that you want to do, or if there's an opportunity that is coming into your life, uh, I would definitely take advantage of it. Because again, it looks to me like you could be becoming very successful um, with some sort of opportunity. And uh, again, the high priestess kind of says, the only limitation is yourself. Like what you put into something is what you will get out of it. With the um, uh, eight of swords, you have the nine of pentacles. Uh, like I said, I knew that eight of swords wasn't gonna be that bad. So, you know, it looks to me like you're very focused on your environment over the next few months. It looks to me like you're very focused on your own kind of uh, self. You know, this is card of independence. Uh, again, with the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords is kind of like hermit energy. So if you do want love over the next few months, I would open up. The Nine of Pentacles, though, says you're, you know, kind of taking care of your own independence or you're becoming very independent, right? So I feel like it's pretty simple. It just says open up. I would also be grateful for the things you have. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of gratitude and luxuries. So it says, make sure to be grateful for all the things in your life and make sure to express gratitude for things in your life so that you can be more you know, successful and happy and you know, all that other stuff. Uh, there's also something about focus here. Again, she has that falcon on her hand and it kind of says that she is like training her focus. And so, um, you know, I would like stay focused on anything important that you're working on. With the Ace of Cups, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is, you know, a definitely a hard work card. It is a card of material success on the horizon as well. And so I definitely feel there's like money coming in here or you are greatly increasing your finances, probably, you know, due to all the work that you're doing. Uh, the other thing is, I do feel you could be attracting love here. It's like weird because I'm not sure if you're open to it or not. <laughs> I don't know. You're going to, you know, I think it's going to be different for all of you, but there's love coming in. I really feel if love is coming in, there's a person who really wants to put in the work, you know? I feel like this person really wants to make it work as well, and which is, you know, really hard to find, right? So, you know, it might be worth it to give a person a chance here, you know, especially if you're attracting an Aquarius, um, you know, an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or a Leo, you know, if you're attracting one of those fixed signs. Um, it, it could be a person who really wants to uh, kind of like make things work. So, you know, I think it would be worth it. With the two of wands, you have the fool. Yes, are you kidding? It is time for you to take a leap of faith into the world. No doubt about it. You have to leave a comfort zone here. Again, like I said, very simple reading, very easy solution. I, I think a lot of you are thinking about something new just in general. <laughs> and it, so it's like, whatever you're thinking about, I would just like, I would just start right now. It's like, there's no reason to wait three months. You know, I feel like this is saying, do it now so that you don't have to wait three months. Again, whatever you're thinking about doing, you know, right here, it's like something that's going to take you to the next level in your life. This is like an idea, a business idea, uh, a, an idea for your career, something that you're working on. And I, I would really get moving here. Um, like I said, I feel like there's a lot of success there for you. With the Four of Cups, you have the Two of Swords. Uh, two of Swords is about needing to see other ways of doing things. You know, Two of Swords is my third place solution card. Normally, the lady on this card has an island behind her. And I always say, like, you have to go to that new island behind you to find success. And so don't be afraid of, like, new, unique opportunities. Or, again, what does this card say? It says uh, unconventional ways to expand new, uh, or, or to explore new sources of income, whatever. Right? I can't read today, but whatever. So uh, let's see here. You have this Lily card. It says spiritual love. So there is clearly spiritual love coming in for you. Uh, again, high priestess kind of makes sense. Uh, it is funny that you have the emperor and the high priestess, you know, it's like the high priestess is almost like the um, spiritual version of the empress. The hierophant is the spiritual version of the emperor, right? Or the more connected version. 
So it's like either you or a person you're attracting is like more spiritual or something. <laughs> There's some sort of spiritual connection here. Uh, you have this boat card. It says money in, money or property through inheritance, winning or windfall. Yes. Um, but again, I, I, I think your money is coming in crossing some sort of barrier with the two of wands. The barrier being you're um, having to do something new or different or you're having to change your story. Again, if you've been doing the same thing day in, day out with your business every single day, then then you're gonna be stuck, right? Or your career or whatever it is that you do. So if you're changing something up, I feel that's where success is coming. Uh, you have this February card, you have this grasshopper card. It says situation in the balance that requires careful handling. I kind of feel like since February of this year um, that maybe there has been something that experienced a shakeup and it's like you've um, kind of brought it back to solid ground. And again, that is a thing that I feel is kind of requiring um, security, right, in your life. Uh, you have these three cards that says, um, you know, be uh, be careful, do not take risks. You have this mice card says discord among family or friends. And then you have this other card, like all three kind of want, I'm gonna pull an extra one actually, because these all came out together kind of. It says Apple temptation will test you. So uh, number one, I would be careful of a past person here. It's kind of popping into my head. Uh, this might only be for some of you, these three, um, that if you have like had a person that your family didn't like, um, <laughs> I feel like they didn't like this person for a reason. So I, you know, I would just be careful. Uh, you have this wreath, sorrow over loss. You could be grieving the loss of this person as well is what I'm getting. But again, it's kind of like they're toxic. So I'd be careful of any toxic people. Uh, all in all, really good. I love where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.